Today we're going to quickly discuss one of the common errors that people get when they uh, try to cast, or I'm sorry, not when they try to cast, when they try to execute a dynamic SQL strand. I think one of the most common errors that I've seen people get is that they will have an int value or a date value or basically a non-varchar value. And uh, when the ex I'm sorry, when the dynamic SQL is executing, it fails. So really quickly, uh, what we can do from scratch is we'll declare SQL, which will be for our dynamic SQL, and then we'll declare i as an int, and we will set i equal to one, and then we will set SQL equal to select, and then plus i. So I'm sorry. So what this should do is it should return one. We're selecting one now. Um, apply this to like a table example that would be like you had a stored procedure and this represented a numeric value and it was select star from table where um, value equals the parameter that someone passes in. I'm using an overfly, oversimplified example to, to get the error. So the error that you'll get is conversion failed when converting the varchar value select to data type int. Now it's not the select that's throwing the error, it's this value right here the i. Notice that the um, select is part of the SQL, the SQL is uh, the varchar max, and i is an int. Um, in order for us to select the i, we must cast the int as a varchar, or a varchar. In this case, I'm just going to cast it as a varchar. You'll notice, for instance, it returns 1, right? Um, this is very. This is also very common with dates. Um, I think that I've seen the majority of uh, a lot of the posts about this this error, similar error, I should say, is related to dates as well. You can't can you can't basically just throw an int in the middle of a varchar string because this is a varchar string based for a varchar string, and even though it's going to execute this statement, everything as a part of this, since it's a varchar, must also be. Uh, a navar card. So that doesn't mean that you can't have a value that's an int. Like your stored procedure, you can still have an int. You will just want to cast the int. Or if it's a date, you'll want to convert or cast the date um, as a var card. And then execute your dynamic SQL string. And so I think in a previous video, you've seen the three, what was it? There's three videos on using dynamic SQL. And I believe in, in one of those, I did cast dates. But this is kind of the logic here, and the, the former error message is the error message that you receive uh, when you get that. But the quick fix, and it, it is the solution basically, is to cast if it's an int. Again, this could be a big int, this could be small int, this could be a tiny int. It doesn't, it doesn't matter, it's a numeric value, it needs to be cast as a varchar in order to be inputted into a varchar string and then executed.